on this episode of Cox Connections. Big Brothers Big Sisters helps children realize their potential and build their futures. We'll hear about how this organization nurtures children and strengthens our community today. Also, saving energy and money is what the Virginia Natural Gas Energy Smart program is all about. We'll learn more today. And Fort Monroe celebrates the history of freedom and equality in our country right here in Hampton Roads. We'll learn about Fort Monroe's growth and future today. Stay tuned, Cox Connections is next. The centers are truly designed to be homes away from home for our service members. Our goal is to help them not just get out of homelessness, but to help them to stay out of homelessness. We leveraged $44 million in financial aid and scholarships. Boys and Girls Clubs and our rallying communities so that we can ensure that our kids have a great future. Salvation Army Ray and Joan Crock Core Community Center, the phenomenal facility that will change lives. Hello and welcome to Cox Connections. I'm your host, Emma Inman, Director of Public Affairs for Cox, Virginia. For over a century, Big Brothers Big Sisters has been changing kids' lives. With the help of volunteers, donors, and advocates, this organization pairs each child with a role model. This leads to a future of unlimited potential for the children. Here to tell us about this organization is CEO Ayanna King and Special Events Program Coordinator Spencer Monroe. Welcome to the show. Well, thank you. Glad to be here. Thank you. So, Ayana, tell us what Big Brothers Big Sisters of the Greater Virginia Peninsula is. We are an evidence-based one-on-one mentoring program. We match a child with a responsible adult. And based on that, they do part of either two of our core programs in school base, which is on school grounds only, are in the community. They go out and spend time with a young person, exposing them to different opportunities in the community. And so the, the goal of the mentorship program, mm -hmm. uh, pairing an adult with a child, is what? The goal is to help this child build and become a responsible adult, as well as to show them that the external community cares about them at the same time. And tell us a little bit more about the two core programs, um, how the school program works, and then what sure. kind of community-based events or activities the bigs and the littles are doing. Sure. Well, our school base, a child is met usually during their lunch period. And it's for one hour, spending a time, eating lunch, talking. And at each school site that we have children, we have activities and games. So you could play a game, eat lunch, and spend some time with them. In a community environment, you're taking a child out. Sometimes we have tickets that we send out and post that you get the opportunity to do different plays from even Monster Jam, truck shows, but just different things. And then we provide trainings for our bigs littles and parents so they understand what's out there and provide them with different lists so they can see what are some of the free things to do in the community as well. So an opportunity for some of the children maybe to experience something that they've never been able to do before. Exactly. And Spencer, tell us a little bit more about how someone gets involved with Big Brothers Big Sisters. Absolutely. The first step into becoming a big or little in our program is to attend one of our orientations. We host those in a variety of different places on dates and times that are convenient to everyone. Um, afterwards, uh, we require that everyone take part in an interview. This is where we get to know both the potential big and little, and this helps us make the best compatible match possible. Um, and then with the interview process, we do background checks, we do um, reference calls, and we kind of just sit there and assess because we don't want this match just to be based on a waiting list. We want this to be the best match possible. So you're, you're looking at the interests and really mm -hmm. trying to, it's not about setting up an adult with a child who's been waiting longest, but really looking at how to pair them. Absolutely. It's terrific. And I know that you've got some events coming up. Yes, Why don't you tell us a little bit about those? Absolutely. So we have uh, two, or we have a few events that are open to the public throughout the whole entire year. The one that's uh, coming up re quickly is uh, our Bull for Kids Sake, which is going to be hosted on May 14th in Hampton in spare times, um, at the Spare Times. Uh, this event's open to the public, and it's as easy as going to our website, which is uh, bullforkids.org. Uh, signing up a team of five. This team can be uh, five of your friends, your coworkers, uh, church members, anything of that sort. Uh, once you sign up, you're given your own profile page, which allows you to fundraise any way you desire. 
We require that each participant fundraise a minimum of $50, which can be as easy as asking 10 people on Facebook for $5, as easy as that. Um, and if bowling isn't your thing, then we do have a golf tournament that's coming up on April 16th at the... Uh, um, Ford's Colony. Ford's Colony. <laughs> um, Blackheath Chorus, sorry about that. Uh, and this can be a, me a memory of uh, Robert McKenzie, who was a big supporter of uh, Big Brothers Big Sisters before he passed. So tell me a little bit more about Bowl for Kids. You gather a team of five people, mm -hmm. and then when you participate in the bowling on May 14th, uh, are there children from the program who are part of your team? Uh, we do have a few bigs and littles that do come out, but as well, it's just a big community piece. It's community camaraderie. Let's get uh, all our uh, business owners and churchgoers and everyone together to unite around a common cause, which is the mentoring needs in our community. And the fundraising obviously goes to benefit the programs that Big Brothers Big Sisters right. offers. Absolutely. All fundraising is going to go to help develop our program so that we can impact more kids in our community. Awesome. And um, Ayana, I know that Spencer mentioned the website. Yes. If people want to get involved with Big Brothers Big Sisters, if they were interested in becoming a big, how do they go about doing that? They can do it two ways. They can call our office, which is area code 757-253-0676, or they can go to our website, which is www.bigs, B-I-G-S, the number four, kids, K-I-D-S dot org. Those are the two ways that people can initially contact us if they're interested, and we really love when people reach out to us so we can provide the services that we're doing. We usually service over 200 children each year. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And the children come from all over the peninsula? From Williamsburg down to Hampton. That's the, our service area and we reach out to Pocosin, Gloucester, York County, York, the city of York. But our major focuses have been Williamsburg, Newport News, and Hampton. So really serving kids yes. all over who, who need an adult uh, mentor and role model in their lives. That is absolutely right. Well, thank you both so much for being here with us today and telling us more about Big Brothers Big Sisters. And thank, thank you, you, Emma, for having us. Appreciate it. Coming up, saving money on energy bills is a top priority for Hampton Roads residents. We'll learn how to do just that when we return. Stay tuned for more Cox Connections.